Let's review this two hour long podcast with Dr. David Sinclair from Harvard and Dr. Andrew Huberman from Stanford. They talk about slowing and reversing aging with the power of fasting. So Dr. Sinclair has been doing a 20 year case study with mice that has shown to double their lifespan. So he believes in the next five or 10 years, there's gonna be a medication or an injection that humans can take to activate longevity markers where we're basically not gonna age. We're still gonna die, but he believes that we're gonna die around 140 or 150 years of age. And we're gonna cement in time how you feel and look today. So here's the anti-aging strategies and mechanisms discussed in the podcast. First, Dr. Sinclair has published a wildly popular book called Lifespan, Why We Age and Why We Don't Have To. Now this book is incredible. It shows the biology of aging and how to slow or even reverse its effects. One of the best parts about this book that I personally like is I got the audio and I was listening to it when I was working out, but he was telling a story about a case study with these mice. There was a 60 year old mouse or the equivalent of 60 years old and a younger mouse in like their 20s. And when the older mice were given a supplement called NMN and even there's very Troll, while the older mice were able to run the equivalent of three marathons. They basically broke this little mouse treadmill and like ruined their experiment. But it showed the power of these two molecules, NMN and resveratrol. Both increase NAD in the body, which is a DNA protectant, basically the foundation of all life. So Dr. Sinclair says that anything moving on Earth, the end product of that energy cycle is NAD. And that, my friend, is the key to anti-aging. One of the big key points in Dr. Sinclair's book, as well as the podcast, is he believes that aging is the root cause of many diseases. And reversing the aging process in the body can make those diseases go away. Now, understanding the mechanisms behind fasting can allow people to make better choices about when and really how long to fast. As Dr. Sinclair reveals, periods of not being fed turn on longevity and defense genes and protect the body against aging and disease. So by simply Simply implementing intermittent fasting or fasting for long periods of time, such as 48 to 72 hours, this can trigger autophagy. Now, autophagy is simply the cleanup system of the body. We're simply eliminating the 30% of cells that are going to cause the disease in the future, leading to greater longevity benefits and deep cleansing of the body's proteins. Another key point here is that fasting triggers sirtuins, which are longevity molecules, and also down regulates something called mTOR. M -T -O -R, which together turns on the body's defenses and improves insulin sensitivity. Remember, insulin gets sugar and potassium into the cell, which lowers blood sugar, and that has been shown to increase longevity. Also, it gives you more energy, repairing cells, and promotes better skin health, as well as promoting longevity. Another key point in the protocol of slowing aging and reversing aging altogether involves pulsing the body with adversity to activate cellular defenses and really slowing the ticking clock of aging. One of those things is metformin. Now, this is a drug for type 2 diabetics. It decreases blood sugar inside the body and has been found to be a longevity drug that could potentially protect against cancer, heart disease, and even dementia, which dementia is simply damaged the brain. Okay, here's my favorite part of the podcast. Clinical trials are being conducted at Harvard Medical School to test the safety and efficacy, or basically the efficiency, of NAD protocols on elderly patients. So remember, NAD is the life source of DNA protectants, as well as the life source energy of really everything moving on this planet. So by boosting NAD with those two supplements, resveratrol as well as NMN, we can actually increase our lifespan and protect against aging. Now, Dr. Sinclair is developing a biological age test that can predict the future of health and, this is the scary part, the time of death and democratizing it to make it accessible to everyone. So not only the elites will have this. The last key takeaway from the podcast is wearable devices that measure your body temperature, heart rate variability, and other data can actually give your doctor real-time info if you're going to have a cold, or even if you're gonna have a heart attack next week. So personally, I use an aura ring and even a whip strap. Now, I don't have them on today, but I was doing it for about a year, and it's amazing with the data that it shows you. The biggest thing that I like is my sleep efficiency efficiency because sleep is the foundation of health followed by fasting. All right, guys, that wraps it up. Let's see if Dr. David Sinclair can cure aging altogether in the next five or 10 years. It's exciting times to be alive. So thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell notification button for our new future videos.